Yeah, they're going to play around topside. By Longju as well, is setting up the wrong path for the And that's why Mortals are going for the Last chain of corruption, Prey gets hit, he's able to jump out. True Shot Barrage to come out behind here. Who's got the follow-up damage, and it goes out to Gorilla. This is going to be the warp out, teleport in. Khan gets himself Ooh. in a hit at the moment. Uh, Prey might even want to look for more because we got a Talia coming around. Here's Talia. There's no teleport for Ole. He gets caught out in the end. Soul Shackles go down, but he is going to be shackled up by the likes of Long Zhu as it's now one to one. Yes, let's see if Ole can get something happen. I've been the brush. The control okay. has been great for them. Cody Sun possibly forward. Last hit to Ole. So clean and simple. It's such a smart... They're going bot again and again. So he throws the binding down, pushes Gorilla up towards it. Smithy with that direction, possibly on the prey now. Nature's Grass just misses. No, it gets him! And they come up with another kill! It's all planned in advance here from Immortals. Plays yeah, so he's going to have to shot towards Gorilla. A rooted prey! Soul Shackles just in range, but they actually have to back off. Poe Belter warms he's up really after low. taking a lot of damage. Khan gets the teleport in. Is this the turnaround for Longzhu Gaming? Ole's going to be going down. They lose the support, but that's two kills. Cash going over to Longzhu. It's Smithy just living as BDD. They lost lane. Yeah. They have found him, though. Instantly going down, he just got himself in a very troublesome position while Cuz tries to play that distraction game. He's also trying to pull Immortals around to say, use your resources and spacing on me. They do so and actually come up with an Ocean Drake after that. It's fun to see how much CC Immortals oh that he came over. Oh, my word. Nice shot by BDD pulling out one last. The Drake goes down, but they are on it. All right, Xmitty coming up. His smite is going to be down, but it will be up for the time. They're going to get it. Get there. They have enough damage to make it happen. Ole, it's up to you. Can he get the damage? Fight. He cannot. Soul Shackle goes down. The rest of the team's trying to get out and instantly zeroed out. Ole means Khan could be finding himself in the same situation as he stayed too long. Having him with Baron on the side lane would be huge if he could put out the pressure, but it looks like he goes down in the end. And the rest of the team will be able to work with Baron and three. Even then, Baron in a two for one. Uh, oh, break. Quite strong in this game here. Uh, already sitting on basically two full items at two hops. That's all as well. it takes. And then Xmithy goes down, and suddenly this Baron buff now means that yep. uh, Longshu yep. can also push for some towers. Control. The inhibitor turret in their eyes here. 27 minutes in. Full belts are on the bottom side of the fight. A double cataclysm going on to Cody's son. Ole goes down immediately as Pobelts are still looking to deliver the damage from the back, from the side. He can't find his way in his fame. Flame is in a 4v1. Prey goes to the front side of the fight. There it is. Cuz goes down to the hands of Pobelter. He's got to be he careful. Just trying to flex his muscle, but doesn't have that finishing damage. Doesn't have enough teammates behind. Here comes the Smithy. Pobelter still on the run. Have Long Zhu overstayed their welcome. And it looks like it could be just right. BDD backs up. Pobelter just on the edge. Zanyas goes down, and BDD's going to volley this one home. Prey with the kill secured. Just like that. Nearly a perfect game. Here. They have the flash down on Pobelt as well. He's trying to get out. Smithy could not. Round warms out. Smithy finding the 45 seconds. Engage on Gorilla. Use the Talia walls so effectively to create catches and then also the speeding up Prey. Sending him forward every single time. Cody Sun blinks. Cody Sun goes down. That's going to be another kill coming in for Prey. And Khan is the initiator in this one. Not stopping a second to think about it because the team is right behind him. And they're not letting everyone respawn, and they just keep getting the picks. 30 minutes in, quite fast games to start off the group stage of World. Long Zoo going to take down Immortals and start off their group stage in Group B, 1 and 0. So much of this game was about who could start the fights because you had so many damage dealers on both sides. And what was so interesting is both teams had many picks that were successful. What decided it is what happens after how well you can convert those small advantages into big one. And in that one, in that aspect, Longju were the decisive victors. Right, I mean, the game, you know, dead even. The are getting that Infernal Drake, and that's where that quick call